Good morning friends, welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss how to write a Python program to copy the even and odd line contents from a file into even.txt and odd.txt. What is the meaning of this program? Let me discuss for you. Suppose let's take that I have a text file called pt.txt. I have a content called hi how are you and remember one thing any text file or any file will start from line number 0. Let's take that this is at the line number 0. Let's take that I have another information called I am fine in line number 1 and then I hope you are enjoying enjoying with Pernika tutorials YouTube channel. This is at line number 2. Okay, let me write in shortcut as L2. And let's take that. I have another content. Please like, please like, share and subscribe. So, this content is there at the line number 3. Suppose let's take that this is the content is there in the pt.txt. Now, what I want to do here is that in even.txt file, I need to copy the line number 0, line number 2 because they are the even number lines. So, in even.txt, I should copy the content called hi, how are you, which is there in the line number 0. Similarly, I hope you are enjoying with Pernika Tutorials YouTube channel. This content should also be there in the even.txt. Similarly, let us take that. In odd.txt file, I should have the content called I am fine and also I should have please like and subscribe. So, this is what the objective of my program. Okay. So, now we will discuss how can we write the Python program for it. So, now what we need to do as we need to read the content from the pt.txt, I need to open this file in the read mode. Then I need to copy the content in the even.txt. So I need to open in the write mode. Similarly, odd.txt also I should open in the write mode. What I will do is that I will copy this content. Okay. And then I will go to the home page and I will click a new text file. Okay. Now there is a new text file. Let me copy and paste this one. Yeah, you can see the whatever the content I am writing. Let me even write some more thing also. Let us take that in Pernika Tutorials YouTube channel. In Pernika Tutorials YouTube channel, you can find more than 985 videos. Okay. On what? On 10 CSC courses. On 10 CSC courses like C java python data structures dbms computer networks computer organization theory of computation compiler design etc so now this is what line number 4 okay and for shortcut i am writing l4 this is what line number 5 just for you to understand that it is copying the even number line files in even.txt in odd number files in odd.txt just why that's why i'm writing the line number 0 line number 1 like that now i need to save it as py.txt okay let me press okay let me close this one now we need to open this one and write the program so first what i need to do i need to have one file object called f1 and i need to open the file and you know that file open will have what two parameters will be there what is the first one what is the file you are opening and remember one thing as the programs all the programs i will save here okay and the pt.txt also here so that's why i no need to give the complete url let's take that you are saving this program in a particular folder and the text file is there in another folder then you need to give the complete address like suppose if you are saving this program in d drive a movies folder in movies let's take that you have python there if you have pt.txt then the entire url you need to give it okay then as i said earlier i need to open this 
text file in the read mode. I can provide it as R or I can provide it as RT. Similarly, I need to write F2 is equal to open. Then I will write event.txt and I am opening in the write mode. If you remember correctly, the write mode what will happen? If the file is not there, then the file will be created. So that's why I did not manually create the event.txt whereas I have created the pt.txt. So if you are opening the any file in the read mode, if the file is there, then it will open. If the file is not there, then it will give an error for you. Whereas event.txt as you are opening in the write mode, if the file is already there, then it will open whatever you are writing that information only will be there the old information you will lose if the file is not there then new file will be created similarly let me write f3 is equal to a open odd.txt okay then i am opening in the write mode now what i need to do is that first i need to read the content from the pt.txt so what i will write here is Content is equal to f1 dot read lines. Okay, I will use a method called read lines. We can read the content from a file using three methods. One is read method, another one is read line method, and also read lines method. What is the difference between these three? Read will give you the entire information which is there in a file. If you are providing some number, then it will give you the first five characters or first 10 characters from the file. Whereas read line will read the one line. Read lines will read the all the lines, but the it will be stored as a one list. If you want to see, let me just display the uh, content. Now what will be this meant? The content is a list. All the lines in the pt.txt will be as an elements of this list. If you want to see, let me write it here. F1 is equal to open pt.txt. What happened? No such file or directory. I have a file now called pt.txt. Does I save it? We can see. Yeah, there is a, oh, I saved it as py.txt. Then here also I need to give py.txt. Okay, I'm really sorry. Let me save it. And now let me run the program. You can see, hi, how are you? Line number zero is my element one backslash n. Why you got a backslash n? Because after entering the hi, how are you? You press it and enter. Then you go for the new line. So that's why even you are getting the escape character, which is backslash n. Similarly, the next line you are getting as a next element. Like that, all the lines will be given as elements in a list. This is the purpose of read lines. Now, I want to count the number of lines in my file. Then how can I count? I can count the number of elements in a list called content. How can I do it? I can use what I can use. I can simply use print len method and I can pass the content. Now you can see it will give you the number of elements. How many elements are there? Six elements are there starting from the index 0 to index 5. Okay. So now with this one I can go for line by line. How I can do? I can use a loop for a variable in here variable I am considering it as i and then range len of content. Now you know that range will have three things. A range method will have three things. One is the start, another one is the stop and another one is the step. Okay. Now if you are not giving the start value by default, it will consider it as zero. The step value by default, it will consider as a one. Stop, how much value you have considered here? Len of content. Len of content is giving the a len method is giving the an integer which is number of lines or number of what number of elements in a list called content so which is six then what will happen i will be initially having the start value which is zero then you will compare the condition what is the condition i should be less than stop what is the i value zero what is the stop value six zero is less than six so the condition is 
true if the condition is true you can execute the statements which are there in the for loop now let me write the what are the statements if i modulus 2 is equal to is equal to 0 meaning is that if it is a line number 0 means even number line files then what i need to do i need to copy the content in even.txt so what i will write here f2 dot i will use a method called write method and what i need to write i need to write from a list called content at ith index what is there look at here initially i value is 0 at 0th index what content is there you have hi how are you line number 0 this content is there this content where you need to write or where you need to copy even dot txt that is pointing by f2 so i have written f2 dot write else if it is not an even number okay if i is not an even number then where you need to copy you need to copy in the odd dot txt so that's why i'm written f3 dot write content of i okay content of i in the list content at the ith index whatever the content is there you need to write now i have successfully written all the lines if the even lines in the even.txt odd number lines in the odd.txt that for loop explanation i will give for you now what i need to do i need to close the all the files whatever i have open it is the programmer duty to close them okay now let me write f2.close similarly f3.close okay if i run the program okay let me run the program okay the program has been successfully executed there is no issue but however it is not giving any output we are not displaying any output here am i right now what you can do you can go here then you can see there will be an even.txt file can you see here there is an even.txt it was created okay because you have opened in the right mode you can open this one see hi how are you line number zero is copied in the event.txt i hope you are enjoying with panika tutorials youtube channel let me zoom it a little bit for you so that you can read parallel with me i hope you are enjoying with panika tutorials youtube channel that is there in the line number two in panika tutorials youtube channel you can find more than 985 videos which is there in the line number four similarly let me open the odd.txt in the odd.txt you have the content which is line numbers odd number lines line number one content is there line number three content is there line number five content is there okay so this program is successfully copied the even number line files into even.txt and odd number lines in the odd.txt but if i ask the programmer to manually go and see the content that is does not looks good what i need to do here i need to display the content here itself so what i will do because whatever the content is there in the event.txt and odd.txt i need to read it and display to the user so what i will do f4 is equal to a open i will open this event.txt now in the read mode because earlier we have opened in the right mode and we have closed it now again i am opening in the read mode to read the content similarly f5 is equal to a open odd.txt again i will open this file in the read mode okay now what i will do i will write the statement print the content the content in the event.txt file is event.txt file is let me have backslash n okay let me write this statement just for decoration okay then what i will do here i will print that one okay what is the content is there in event.txt so f4 dot read then the read method will read the entire content line by line and display for you even you can use the read line but if you are using read line how many lines are there those many times you need to give the read line command similarly what i need to do is that i need to i need to display the content which is there in the odd.txt let me copy and paste it in place of even.txt i will write a statement called odd.txt and i will here write f5.read 
once our task is done we need to close that file so f4 dot close similarly f5 dot close okay now let me run the program see you can see here once I have run the content in the event.txt file is I hope you, hi how are you I hope you are enjoying all the content which is there in the event.txt has been displayed the content in the odd.txt file is that is the way you need to write a python program to write the content from one file or copy the content from one file to another file so even line number contents i have copied in one file odd number of line files in another content <coughs> excuse me so now what i will do i will explain this program little bit for you okay now look at here as the range method has taken only one parameter that will be the stop value start value and step value the default values will be 0 and 1 you will consider and start will have the 0 so i will have the initial value 0 i less than stop is the condition 0 less than 6 the condition is true if the condition is true then what will happen the statements which are there in the for loop will be executed the first statement in the for loop is what you can check it here i modulus 2 what is the i value let me zoom out little bit i value is you have 0 ok little bit let me zoom out 0 modulus 2 equal to equal to 0 that is what you are verifying what is 0 modulus 2 modulus operator will give you a reminder 0 equal to 0 yes the condition is true if the condition is true the statements which are there in the if block should be executed what is that one f2 dot write in even dot txt file you need to write the content which is there at the index 0 at the index 0 you will have the line number 0 that's why i hi how are you line number 0 has been copied in the event.txt file then once all the statements are done then where the control will go the control will go to the iteration step value is 1 i value is 0 so now i will be equal to 1 because i is equal to i is equal to i plus step this is the what the iteration here i value is 0 0 plus step is 1 so it will be equal to 1 so now i is equal to 1 i should be less than stop i value is 1 1 is less than 6 the condition is true if the condition is true what will happen it will go and execute the statements which are there in the for loop what is the statement i modulus 2 i value is how much 1 1 modulus 2 is equal to equal to 0 or not you need to verify 1 modulus 2 will give you the reminder as 1 1 is equal to 0 no the condition is false if the condition is false then the statements which are there in the else block need to be executed f3 dot write f3 is what is an odd dot txt in odd dot txt you need to copy the content which is there at the the index where index i index i is means index 1 at the index 1 whatever the content is there that you need to copy it here okay like that and again i value will become 2 2 is less than stop again the condition is true now 2 is an even number so then the even number line content will be copied in even.txt so like this this program will run till the stop value means i value becomes 6 okay once i value becomes 6 then the program will be terminated not program the for loop will be terminated then we are closing the files and then again we are opening the files called even.txt and odd.txt in the read mode and then we are displaying the content i hope it is clear for you if you still have any doubts related to this program feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts as early as possible Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.